developers hopes you are doing well now in this video series how to add some extra properties to our existing app as you have noticed that for text type content we have a background color as well as text color if I switch to any other content so you have noticed that here its background color is different with respect to above content okay You can notice here we have a different background color so how we can achieve this you can notice that we have a different text color as well as background so we need to add some extra properties just go to browser if your content is of type text we need to add some extra properties so how we can do this press on this plus icon add attribute name text color and we need to pass a hash code value so if we need to pass a black we will say 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have passes a hex code value it is added now we need to add some extra property like background we will again pass a hex value we will say its background will be say a gray color Right. now we need to fetch these two attribute text color and background in our model okay let's go to android studio now move to your firebase get data add some extra value to our existing class name home model go to home model now we need to pass two new attributes now first will be well text color and it will be a string value and well a background it will be a string value so you have noticed that this two attribute are only for text type content for videos and image type content we don't need this type of attribute so these two attribute may be of null type and so my these two attribute will be of null type if the content will be of image or video just go here now we need to add x attribute now how we can check that we are getting a that particular attribute or not so declare a two variable here if data dot we can check if data dot contains key and it will be firebase constants dot we need to mention this key here as well so just simply go to class press command d or control d to copy existing line and it will be my background color and next attribute will be text color just copy that particular background and text color please match the case as well background and text color next will be text color We will initialize two variables say well background is equal to null well text color is equal to null okay if data contains that key then we will say background is equal to data and that appropriate key value we are getting some error so just simply say it will be a string type value 
as we have declared its val so we cannot update the value just change it to var now we we'll do the same for text color so we we'll say if data dot contains key filled text color Now we need to pass these two fill here, background and text color. Okay. Now everything is done. While fetching the data from Firebase, now we need to update our adapter as well. So just go to your show text view. Now check to its layout. we have this particular text view so we need to set a background color as well as text color so how we can do this we will say text view holder dot text content dot text color set text color is equal to now if you want to set a color from a string value and that string value contain a hex code we have a function use color dot color and it required a string value position dot we will say text color now we will to update the background we will again pressing ctrl d and it will be set background color and color will be my background ok now just simply relaunch the app Now you have noticed that we have that particular background as well as text color. Okay, and we have noticed that we have cell have some appropriate size. Okay, so how we can do this? This particular area looks like too much awkward. So we need to update something in our UI. Just go to your layout. And we will say this particular layout contain a minimum height of 80 dp. Now see what happened. We have something this and image type content, uh, video type content. As we are not seeing uh, appropriate spacing here so we need to go to our layout and set a background to our recycler view now we will say its background will be at the red color and a light gray value now again update now we have noticed that we have a gray color to each our cells so we want it to be look similar to our share wishes app so how we can do this so we just add this content inside a card okay so just add a parent layout as a card view Currently we are not getting it because we didn't include it in our gradle. Just go to design, search for card view, select and drop it to our layout. We get a card view here. So just simply cut this line and make it apparent. We are getting some error just simply press alt enter and close this 
just format the code it is acquiring a full height to say wrap content uh, we will do the same for our other layout as well text video and image I would try to rerun that Our app is crisis so we'll just go to log and see what are the inflating class card view as we have added a card view to our layout but didn't mention it in our dependency just go to here and add a dependency of card view documentation number codes and remove other values and it will be our app compact version and just simply sync the grid now you can preview that we have our card view in our layout add a margin video will be Just say launch the app again. Now you have noticed that we have a separate uh, card view and this particular image and this particular content. Okay. Now we will try to make this image fit to our area. So just go to your image type content we have say scale type to center inside we will change it to center crop okay go to the same for your video type and it will be center crop i'll try to relaunch the app okay now we have our content like text a video and a image we have added a image height of 150 dp try to increase it to 180 dp so just make it a dp of 180 Now, our content and image area and a video. So, we have achieved and fixed the UI similar to our Share Basis app. Now, in next video, we will learn how to view this particular image in a full preview. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for update.